Welcome to SealNet, the home of online seals. Sealing technology is used every day in all sorts of applications. SealNet provides a wide range of sealing solutions to cover the vast majority of applications in the world today. For example, in all kinds of hydraulic cylinders, in the mining and construction industry, or in agriculture and farming equipment, just to name a few. Placing the seals on your hydraulic equipment can seem like a difficult thing, but at SealNet we are here to make things simple and easy. There are three simple steps in replacing your hydraulic seals. Remove your used seals, identify your seals and install your new seals. There are four main components that make up a hydraulic cylinder. The gland, rod, piston and cylinder barrel. Let's begin with the gland. Firstly, inspect the gland for any damage. Now it's time to remove the used seals. Using a hook and pick tool, pry the seals from their housing and set aside. Before you can order your new seals, you need to identify your existing seals. The first step in identifying your seals is to identify your seal profile. We demonstrate this by cutting the seal and revealing the front face. This is your seal profile. Once you have identified your seal profile, you can measure your seal height. To do this, measure the distance between the front and back of the profile. To identify the outer diameter of the internal gland seals, use the metal dimensions of the seal grooves. Using an internal caliper, push the tips against the wall of the seal groove and lock the adjustment screw until you feel slight tension. Remove the internal calipers and using a digital vernier, measure the distance between the two tips. Once you have determined the measurement, Store the information with the seal profile and height. To ensure further accuracy, you can switch between imperial and metric to determine the closest suiting dimension for your seal. Repeat this process for all other internal gland seals, storing the information as you go. Next, to identify your external gland seals, use a digital vernier to measure the seal groove. This will give you your inner diameter. Store the information along with the seal profile. The height of an O-ring seal is equal to its cross-section. Measure the cross-section using a digital vernier and store the information along with the seal profile. Once you have identified the O-ring BS number by searching your seal dimensions on SealNet, you can use the BS number to order the corresponding backup ring if required. Before measuring the rod, Inspect it for any damage or worn areas. To determine the inner diameter of the internal gland seals, measure the diameter of the rod and store the information along with the seal profile. Next, inspect your piston for any damage, then using a flathead screwdriver, remove the used seals. Then measure the diameter of the seal groove to determine the piston seal inner diameter. Using a digital vernier, 
measure the internal height and store that information with the seal profile. Then measure the total stack height of the seals to determine the total seal height. To determine the seal's outer diameter, measure the inside of the cylinder barrel with internal calipers. Measure the distance between the two tips with a digital vernier and store the results with the piston seal dimensions. Once you have identified all of your seals, Submit your order on SealNet and review your order. Once your order has been confirmed, you will receive your new seals in one to two business days Australia-wide. Before you commence installation of your new seals, inspect and clean your gland to ensure successful installation of your seals. To install your gland seals, simply push them into their respective grooves. Try not to damage the seals by applying excessive force when installing. When installing the O-rings, try not to damage them on any sharp edges on the outside of the gland. Once you have completed installing your seals, inspect the gland before reassembling. Before commencing installation of your piston seals, inspect and clean your piston to ensure successful installation of your seals. To install your piston seals, you will require a flathead screwdriver. Stretch your seal over the piston and slide it down to align with your seal housing. Use a screwdriver as leverage to stretch your seal. Be careful not to overstretch your seal or damage the seal on a sharp edge. Once you have completed installing your seals, inspect the piston before reassembling. At SealNet, we have made it easier than ever to order your seals online from anywhere around the world. We provide quality seals without any hassles because we truly believe Seals should be made simple.